Hello everybody, welcome to Flak Panzer's channel. And in this section, I'm going to be going over the American tanks. Um, first, I'd like to start off by explaining about how the movement works for the American tanks. Um, movement for American tanks is different from the other class tanks that exist in the game for the Soviets and the Germans. The American tanks have the transmission where one track must move forward and the other track on the other side will move a little slower than the track. So when you want to go left, the right tracks will move faster than the left tracks. And that's how you'll turn left. And if you go right, the same thing happens on the opposite side. Which means that if you try and do a 360, you really can't do it unless you you have to move forward. So don't try and do a 360 on a bridge because you, you're going to need room to kind of maneuver the tank to go that way. Okay, so we're going to start off with the M2A2 light tank. Now, this tank is an interesting tank. Um, it comes with two gun seats. The main gun seat comes with the armor-piercing rounds, whereas the secondary gun seat only comes with the 50 cal non-upgraded um, bullets. So the main tanker gets upgraded bullets, and the way to get the upgraded bullets is you have to use the tank for... Up to I believe tier 5 and then once you can upgrade to get the bullets the upgraded bullets you can buy them the first time and in order to get the secondary slot to have upgraded bullets you come to the ribbon of the tank you click this ribbon you go here and you get you click this uh, sec bullet number and you buy it a second time and then equip it to your second slot that's how you equip this tank to get uh, APCR round or AP rounds for both slot one and slot two. This tank has uh, camos if you'd like to buy them. Uh, they're in these, these are the prices. Um, the tank also comes with, um, now on this particular tank, you do have the ability to turn this turret 180 degrees so you can see behind you, but you can only see through the left side of the tank. The right side of the tank is off using the gunner and he can see in the other direction so beyond voice comes with this particular tank so that you guys can use both directions of the tank uh, at, its ma at its peak efficiency now this tank is extremely fast um, it's like a Lamborghini on the battlefield um, the use of its ability to turn fairly quickly on the move because of its transmission is its strong point um, this tank is designed to take out enemy jeeps, bikes, infantry, APCs, uh, tanks of its same class as example first tier tanks like the 30, T-38 or the uh, Panzer I, it can take it out. If you go against Panzer IIs or T-26s, you can take them out but not easily. Um, don't try and take this tank to higher tier tank classes because it just won't do very well all it will really do is start to wear on the armor but once the tanker realizes who's shooting at him and from where you're dead so try and stay away from higher tier tanks what this tank does that is fairly important is that anything that you kill with this tier tank as if you kill jeep spikes apcs whatever you kill the ribbon that you are going to be working on is the armor assault ribbon now the armor assault ribbon works on getting higher tier tanks so if you want to skip getting the steward and you want to go directly to the higher tier tanks this is the ribbon that you're going to be working on and any tank that you want to buy from here on in you can just use this particular tank to unlock every single tank in the game for the u.s side okay now moving on to the next your tank for the Americans which is the Stuart now the Stuart is an interesting tank um, it has fairly weak armor up top if you get shot by enemy tanks and weak lower armor weak on the sides weak in the back every side is kind of weak the tracks are also weak but this tank has a high health pool so when taking shots from let's say a BT-7 or the 38T from the Germans or a Luke's or the T70, you're going to be able to take like five to six shots 
from each one of those tanks as far as rounds. So you'll be able to live a lot longer in this particular tank because it's got very good armor and health pool from this tank. Now this tank does come with a 37 millimeter cannon. It does have APCR and HE. It does have a M1919 A4 machine gun and it does have a gun seat as well. Now you can lock the gun seat by hitting the number four so that your gunner can't shoot. But I do recommend that you leave it alone and let the gunner do his thing. Um, there may be times where you're looking left or right and you don't see the guy sitting right in front of you and the gunner does and he gets the kill so he gives you XP for doing it. So I recommend leaving it open. Um, unless you want to be a little stealthy and want to get into positions without the enemy tanks knowing where you are, then I would hit four to lock it up so only you and your squad can use it um, on a regular basis. Okay. Now moving on to the next tier tank, which is the Chaffee. Now the Chaffee has very weak lower plate. Its star is also weak. The sides are weak. The, uh, the cannon is weak. Its turret is very weak as well. So, but what excels in this tank is its cannon. The cannon is a 75 millimeter cannon, which is a medium tanked uh, cannon class, but put under the light tank class. So this tank is extremely powerful in its cannon and the damage it puts out. Um, unfortunately, this tank also comes with a high respawn timer. So if you die with this tank, you're going to have to wait a while before you can spawn another one. Whereas the Stewart and the M2A2, they have very low timers. So if you die with one of them, you can spawn back up fairly easily. Um, this tank is made to be a sniper tank. This is made for long range shooting and killing targets from a long range. Um, it's best to have some infantry support with this tank because if you try and back up in this tank, forget it. You can actually walk faster and this tank can move backwards. So try to only use it and go forward. It's fairly nimble in its forward gears. Um, it can go pretty quickly, but if you get hit in the tracks, you're dead in the water. So you want to have a little bit of infantry support with you. And of course, you don't want to die with it because your respawn timer is long. Okay, now we're going to move on to the medium tank classes. Under the medium tank, we first start off with the Lee. Now the Lee is an interesting tank. It's got a lot of interesting parts to it. First off, we start off with a 75mm cannon. Uh, the cannon comes with APCR and HE, but the gunner seat for this particular tank for the tanker the, the machine gun is off to its left and when it shoots it shoots a little bit off centered so be aware when you shoot that machine gun it's a little bit off centered when you shoot the main cannon it does pirouette the tank a little bit off to the right every time it shoots so you're gonna have to re-establish where you are located with the tank every time you shoot because the cannon is off centered into the uh, tank this tank doesn't have a main turret for its main gunner class, so just be aware that you're kind of acting like a tank destroyer under the other faction's tank destroyer where you don't have a turret for the cannon. But it does have a 75mm cannon. Now, being that as it may, its 52 section down here is where its transmission and engine is, and it's very weak down here. It's weak on the sides, it's weak where this 24 is, and this section up here. It's weak all around the particular tank, and its tracks are very weak. Um, its gun breach is hard to hit, but can get hit. The gun barrel is very difficult to hit, but can get hit, and it will be damaged. Now, the secondary gun and cannon on this tank, which, ha which is the only one that kind of has a secondary cannon in the game for a medium tank, uh, this tank comes with a 37mm cannon. Now this cannon is, is interesting because it can actually raise up to about 75 to 80 degrees up in the air, which is where you can start shooting planes down with a 37 millimeter cannon. It only comes with an AP round for its cannon, but it does have an extra machine gun with this tank. So if you're going to engage enemy tanks, it's good to engage maybe a light tank, maybe the first tier medium and you'll have to be really lucky for the second tier medium to take it out. But if you can be on voice comms with this particular tank to actually time it 
right, where the main guy shoots, and then the secondary gunner, he shoots, you can actually chain fire this and kill enemy tanks with it to the point where you can get some higher tier tanks. And if you have some infantry support wrenching your tank, you can take out a lot of different tanks with this tank. Now, this tank also has a third sec seat in, in the tank where you are the machine gunner up at the top. So you are a tank where you can pretty much see 360 degrees around your tank and you have a machine gun. Um, the gunners, when you pop out of this tank, the main gunner tank comes out the side, the secondary gunner comes out the other side, and the third one comes out the top, I believe. I don't remember exactly. So just be aware that where you pop out in the tank if you decide to pop your heads out of the tank. Moving on to the second tier medium tank, which is the Stuart. I'm sorry, the uh, Sherman. Now the second medium tank, it also has weak lower plate, and this is where transmission and engine are. Its top section is fairly strong, but the sides of the of where the stars are are its weak points. Uh, the back is very weak. The tracks are weak. The gun breach is fairly strong, but you can get gun breached. Its barrel is fairly weak. Um, the gunner comes out and pops his head about this section. So if you are in third person view, just your head is available to be seen. Um, if you're on voice comms with the tanker, you can uh, tell him where enemy uh, things are before he may know that they're there because you're just out with your head out the top. But you can get sniped out of it. Uh, if the tanker decides to come out in third person view, he comes out the top right about here. Um, what excels on this tank is the fact that this tank comes with stabilizers. So if you're moving and shooting, you can you will notice a big difference because your gun is not going up and down, up and down. It will stay fairly even with the ground because it has those stabilizers. So try and move and shoot with this particular tank because you'll love the fact that you're the, you can actually keep your uh, target in front of you and not be bouncing up and down, up and down. So. That's where its strong point art is in the fact that you can move and shoot this particular tank. Both the gunner and you as the tanker get uh, M1919A4 for weapons, and you do get APCR and HE for this particular tank. Moving on to the EZ-8. Now the EZ-8 does come with APCR and HE. It does have a weak lower plate where that star is. But its uh, upper plate is pretty strong. Its turret ring is pretty strong as well. Um, if you can angle your tank where the corner, this section right here, faces the tank, it will be very difficult to hit you because this upper plate will deflect and this side plate will deflect enemy tank shots. Um, this is the top tier tank of the medium class of uh, the American side. So if you do die with this tank, you will have a spawn timer. Whereas the uh, Lee and the first tier Sherman, you will not have a spawn timer if you die when you're up on the front line with this particular tank. This tank does, the EZ-8 does come with an APCR round. Um, it does have a very difficult gun breach on the front. Its gun barrel is fairly easy to hit. Where this tank is kind of weird and no other tank has it is that the gunner, when he is in uh, first person shooter he has an m1919 a4 gun but when he pops out the top he gets also a mounted 50 cal which no other medium tank of uh, any faction gets so even though you're looking around you're kind of vulnerable you do get a 50 cal in your hand instead of just having your head popped out or your head popped out of the front of the tank and not being able to see anything or do anything if you see enemy players you can actually kill them with the gun on the top or you can kill them with the gun inside so that's where its strong point is for the gunner seat of what it can do uh, moving on to the heavy tanks now under the heavy tanks we get two different types of tanks we get the jumbo which is fairly weak where the star is if you see stars on this tank it's fairly weak so shoot that if you're enemy its turret ring is fairly strong but not the greatest um its upper plate just like the easy eight if you can angle your tank just like the easy eight you're going to be very difficult to take out its tracks are fairly big and if you're near it trying to repair it these tracks will hurt you because they're kind of 
spiked and pointy and they will hurt you if you're trying to repair this tank on the move so be aware of that um be on voice comes with your tanker so that you can help him kind of fix the tank and not move at the same time um the tank does ha has only one zoom feature so you can't double zoom this particular tank its gun breach is fairly strong so you can take a couple of hits but don't take don't overdo it you will get a gun breach the gun barrel is fairly strong the front section is very strong the sides are very weak and that's this particular tank you do get apcr rounds and he um and that's about it for this particular tank uh, moving on to the heavy tank. Now, the heavy tank for the Americans is an interesting tank. Its lower plate is very difficult to hit, and the upper plate, this section here, is very strong. So good luck getting through this if you're a lower tier, medium, or TD, or some other type tank. You're not going to be able to shoot this section. Its gun breach is very difficult to kill. Its gun barrel is fairly easy, but hard to get it the tanker to turn its turret to shoot it um its tracks can be tracked but because it has both forward motion for even for turning the turn the tank will still have its motion uh shooting it on the side is fairly hard to do if you shoot it shoot it in the back section uh that's where it's kind of weak its rear it's weak but its turret is fairly strong um it's vulnerable in its cupola where what happens is, is this tank is very difficult to kill but at the same time this tank doesn't deal a lot of damage either it does have a 90 millimeter cannon but unfortunately it doesn't do a lot of damage to enemy heavy tank class um if it's going against lighter tanks like the mediums and the light tanks it will take it out fairly easily it does come with apcr rounds and he um and that's about it for this particular tank. Now moving on to the tank destroyer class. I'm going to start out with the Hellcat. Now the Hellcat is technically speaking a light tank. It has the same health pool as a light tank. Not as a medium tank. Um, the front star is where its engine and transmission are. So if you shoot this tank from the front, make sure you hit this section. Um, its sides are very weak. Its back is very weak. The turret ring is very weak. Um, its tracks are extremely weak. But what happens with this particular tank is that it is a very fast tank. It's like a Lamborghini on the battlefield. It, it, it is just running around everywhere like a cat, running around, shooting things and being a nuisance. And this tank does come with APCR and it comes with HE. Um, if the tanker is sitting outside the tank, only his head is available to be seen. Plus, if he has a gunner with his particular tank, he gets a 50 cal, which can spin 360 degrees. Um, its gun breach is hard to kill, but its gun barrel is easy. Its turret ring is very easy. So this tank can be a menace on the battlefield. If you're an anti-tank or your enemy tanks, take out its track first. Make sure it can't move. Then take out its engine and then you can do a lot more damage to it. But that's if you can hit it because he seems to be always on the move. So uh, good luck hitting it. Uh, moving on to the next tier for the um, medium destroyers is the M10. Now the M10 is the first tier medium destroyer that you would get. The M10 is not a nimble tank. It's a slow moving tank, but it what it makes up for for its speed it has an armor so the lower plate down here is where its engine and tranny are but where the american star is 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 fairly strong the sides is is okay it's not the greatest against light tanks it can take a lot of hits but against mediums and heavies and tds it forget it it's going to get penned every time the ammo racks are actually in the turret so unlike any other medium destroyer in the game, the medium destroyers of the American side get turrets. And in this particular tank, the ammo racks are actually on top. So if you're infantry or anti-tank, get on top of the tank and take out its ammo racks first, then go and shoot the tank. Because what ends up happening is the tank starts to take more damage if the ammo racks are taken out. So ammo racks are up here. Uh, engines back here and everything else is kind of weak if you do that um the gun breach is kind of hard to hit 
but it's easily gun breached. Uh, the barrel is easy to take out, so just be aware. Remember, you are a medium tank destroyer, not a heavy tank destroyer. Okay, now moving on to the heavy tank destroyer. The heavy tank destroyer, you get the Jackson. Now, the Jackson is a 90 millimeter cannon. This tank is very strong for its uh, cannon. It can take out every tank of it uh, that is lower than its class. So uh, heavy, medium destroyers, heavy tanks, medium tanks, light tanks, it, it's lunch. Against the uh, medium destroy the heavy destroyers, unfortunately, against the SU-100, it's going to have trouble because even though it does fire a 90 millimeter round, the SU-100 just has more firepower than the uh, uh, Jackson does. But where it lacks on on the firepower, it makes up on mobility and um, the fact that it does have a turret ring, it can shoot on the move, and it can shoot in uh, on angles that maybe the SU-100 can't turn on because the SU-100 has a fixed forward-facing cannon where this is on a turret. So that's where you kind of benefit, and this is like a flanking tank with a heavy, hard-hitting 90 millimeter cannon. Now this tank does come with APCR rounds and HE, and I do recommend using APCR and HE when you get it, I haven't unlocked it yet. I believe that the, I don't remember exactly how many rounds the Jackson gets. I think it's like 50 rounds maybe if, of per slot. I'm not exactly sure. Again, I haven't used it in a while. So uh, anyway, uh, that concludes all the tanks and how to use them and where its strengths and weaknesses are. I highly recommend using all the tanks uh, on the battlefield and use which one is best to use in slot for at the time uh, If you have any questions about the medium and I'm sorry about all the tanks of the American slide Just come visit me at twitch under uh, twitch.tv uh, forward slash flack underscore pans and I'll answer any of your questions um, And if you like this video make sure you like it and subscribe um, and that's about it. So Have a good one everybody